tonight, especially the fact that we gave up a big play, 75-yard bomb on the first play of the game, and I think showed tremendous resiliency to actually just take the ball right down the field and score uh, as if nothing happened, and then the defense uh, didn't give up any more points the rest of the game. And these guys have very explosive offense, very explosive receivers, and uh, I thought our guys did a pretty good job, you know, after that. So uh, a lot of players got to play, uh, which is a good thing, helps their development. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that we could do better that we'll learn from, uh, and we need to improve as a team. Uh, I think there's a lot of competition in our league, and uh, regardless of the score, um, one of the things that I thought we did well is came out and started the second half well. So, um, you know, we had, you know, I was really, really pleased. I, I was concerned about first game on the road. This is a tough place to play. Um, their explosive offense, the number of points that they scored, uh, how we would respond on the road, how we would handle the crowd noise with the quarterback, and he's never been in a situation like this before. And you know, I have to give us a good grade in all those areas. So uh, I was pleased. But you know, we got 24 hours to enjoy this. We got another big game next week. He's not injured. Yeah, I think that's what we wanted to try to do, you know, a year ago. Uh, I think the combination of, you know, what Mike has doing, done in the past of being a spread guy, uh, having Brian here last year who basically gave us the New England Patriots passing game, uh, now the combination of those two things um, is really, really effective. And we have good skilled players and good quarterbacks who have been able to make plays. So um, I'm, I'm pleased with what we're doing. Uh, consistency is always the key to the drill. Um, I think our offensive staff does a really good job of preparing our players. Um, you know, Dan Enos has done a really good job with the quarterbacks. Uh, Mike has done a really good job of controlling, you know, the whole um, leadership necessary to get guys to do things the way they need to do them to be productive and effective, and it's worked out well so far. Nick, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know if I got the stats right here, but you know this team scored 76 points, and they had 248 yards of total offense, and they had 75 of them on the first play. So um, I, I thought we did a good job of executing the plan. Uh, I thought the players played hard. I think we did a really good job up front because the plan was not to pressure a lot uh, in this game, to get pressure with four guys rushing so we could play you know, split safety coverages and try to take the big plays away. Uh, so we did a good job of executing the plan. I think the turnovers were big, the interceptions were big. Um, you know, knocking the ball off the quarterback, I think we got three turnovers in the game, which is our goal. So um, I thought we tackled better in the game. So, you know, I, I, was, I was pleased with the progress that we made. What did you think of Deontay Thompson? He seems to be a complete player. He didn't come up and play the run, but he's tough. He can also have that athletic ability in range. Right, well, he does have great range in the back end. He's very instinctive. Uh, football is really important to him. He does a great job of preparing every week. Uh, I'm really proud of the progress he's made as a player through his career here to be a uh, very effective, productive player for us now. What did you get that first play of the game where they hit that big connect on that? Well, we were in bump and run, and the guy got beat. Um, and then I saw the guy running five yards behind our guy. Pretty much the same thing you saw. Did everybody see that? <laughs> so, I mean, not, not, not that that's not a good question. I just think that it's pretty obvious what happened. You know, that guy got beat. We changed the corners around, uh, put a bigger guy on him. Um, and, you know, Patrick did a good job against him. And then we put uh, Trayvon over there on him, and he did a good job on him. So we didn't give any more big plays up after that. And, uh, but we have a lot of confidence in Savion. I mean, he's played well for us, and we need for him to be a good player and a confident player as well. This game was as solid with the top three guys for three or four years. Do you still see this game that way? Uh, we've won this game, and we've lost this game. And we've lost this game and won championships, and we've won this game and not done anything right, after that. So 
not gotten the SEC championship game. So now this is one game. It's one game for us to grow and build uh, confidence with our players. Uh, the thing I'm most proud of is they came into a tough atmosphere and really responded well in terms of the way they competed in the game. Uh, so, you know, that's a big step for this team, especially a lot of young guys. Uh, so we want to continue to make progress, and we got some really tough games coming up, and we got a tough game next week against a very good team. Well, he made some big plays last year. You know, he was just a freshman and didn't play all the time. But you know, we think all three of we we have four receivers that can make you know explosive plays, and uh, we want to get them all involved. And you know, Jerry plays in the slot, so when people may play man to man, you know, it's that chop route that you run is really difficult to defend, and he does it extremely well. And he made a couple big play catches with it today. What did he learn last year? You know, just sitting behind a little bit, not playing a ton. You know, what did he kind of learn? Well, but we played him quite a bit, and I think the the experience. Look, there's no substitute for experience. Knowledge and experience are really, really important. And no matter how much you try to practice things or how much you have noise in practice, how the quarterback's going to manage a game, how the offense is going to respond on the road, you never know until they do it. So uh, same thing with an individual player. Um, Jerry is a hard worker. He's a very gifted guy. He's got good hands. He gets out of a break really well. Uh, he can beat man-to-man -man coverage. So, you know, he's a pretty complete player for us. But What's been the key to your third down success? Well, Guys getting open and the quarterback throws them the ball where they can catch it. We have pretty good protection um, for the most part, and I think the team does a really good job uh, in preparation uh, for what we need to do to protect ourselves against pressure. And our guys have done a good job of beating man to man, and the quarterbacks have made good decisions about where to go with the ball. So um, that's something that I think will be important for us to continue. I thought he played really well. I was really pleased. I mean, how many points did we score while he was playing? 42, 42. something. I mean, I thought that was pretty good. I thought he was right on with the ball. I think he he made, you know, two two errors in judgment that weren't that costly, but um, you know, he'll learn from it and he made a lot of really really good plays. What's, what's Last Quentin, question. Quentin bringing to this defense right now? Quentin Williams. Quentin's playing really well. You know, we, we've, we've got to develop some depth, you know, up front. Um, you know, we got five guys that we feel like we're confident. Quentin has really played well. He plays with a lot of quickness. He's a really smart player. Uh, does a good job every week of sort of, you know, evaluating their offensive linemen uh, for bird and rabbit calls and uh, really goes out and executes well in the game. So um, very smart guy that plays football really smart. Uh, and I think he helps that defensive line, you know, stick together and play together. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Guys, players will be available outside shortly. <laughs>